the best. That's all we watch. This is Donald, who's a very big action news fan. And, uh, you know, he had to be here. It is a time in Philadelphia history not long ago. Factories were closing, crime was soaring, and neighbors were at war with each other. It is a time largely defined by one man, Frank Rizzo. Powerful, yet polarizing. Rizzo fought to restore order, but made enemies along the way. I'm Jim Gardner. Join us for The Fight, the next chapter of Philadelphia, The Great Experiment, tonight at 7.30, only on 6 ABC. Welcome back to Between the Lines. I'm Melissa Kelly. I'm here with Coach Judy Laws and Maria Isgro from the KU Golden Barrett women's softball team. Thank you guys so much for joining us today. Thanks so, for Coach, us. I want to start off with you. Welcome back to Between the Lines. We're just getting ready to play Date, Ditch, or Mary. What would you say you guys did to improve your team? Um, I think we really focused on defense and rebounding because we knew we were going to be a small team. But uh, even more so, the whole concept of team, I think we uh, integrated more this year. But I, in reality, though, I would not ditch her if it wasn't other than this game. So I feel bad, Nicole. Fair enough. But uh, do it. I don't know if Nicole's ever going to watch the show anymore because I've oh, also no, got a ditch her. Oh, no, now I feel bad about this show. Golden Bears opened their highly anticipated 97th season against the St. Anselm Hawks. This matchup at University Field had everyone wondering if the Golden Bears would resume the pace of last year's PSAC championship season. Morton was known for leading a squad of Bears with a strong will to win. Defying the odds two years in a row, he showed extraordinary poise and determination, which translated into dominating plays on the field and led the rest of the team to do the same. Battling through injury and adversity, Morton never gave up on any game. His work ethic and leadership always showed itself, especially at the end of an embarrassing loss to Shippensburg, where even down by over 30 points, the Bears refused to give in. In more than one way, Morton has helped to build a legacy that will be remembered for many years.